before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He makes it to the 32-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. And it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 32. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's immediately tackled. Well, we get a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter psyche? to about the 43. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. four-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 44-yard line, first down. They work the right side and there is nothing going there. These corners are showing that they're not afraid to come up and make a hit. Even if they aren't playing pass, they know how to disrupt the play. it in first down and he's knocked out of bounds Gain of 12 yards. First, down. first down 10 to go ball on the 32 that's a great tackle at the 32 yard line the running back gets a yard maybe less just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down it's the ninth play of the drive. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Tackled at the 17. It's the 11th play of the drive. From the 12 yard line, it's second down. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That brings us 13th play of the drive coming up.
finds his man, and they take him down immediately. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. This will make it a field goal game. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own 42-yard line. First down. He's at the 40. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. And he carries the ball for a nice game. made at the 16-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want none of this. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Three, nothing. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. He's looking to tie the ball game up with this one. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Gets to about the 37-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 41. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. To 
the ruling on the field is reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. And they're coming after this punter. He's got the corner. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 41 yard line, second down. taken down for a loss. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get up field north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get up field as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at around the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From the 33-yard line, first down. Nice gain as he works the right side. just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. In time, he's going to learn how not to get trapped by play action, but this time, it cost him a new set of downs. play of the current drive. Runs right for a nice game. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. From the one yard line, it's second down. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Pitch left, he's tackled around the two yard line. That is a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is the 11th play of this drive. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. My four, my four. Two seven. Give it to the halfback. He's not going to get in. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. Fourth down, they'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Trying to take the lead by a field goal.
The kick is up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. He's got it with room to run. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 49. Game of 14 on the play. That makes it first and First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Get to that quickly. Very good tackle in space. That's a seven-yard gain. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Throws right, intercepted. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From their own 33-yard line. First down. Catches it, and that's all. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. The Tigers use their second timeout. Quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of three on the play. That makes it 37. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. tackled right away so we played two quarters the Tigers lead it 6-3 hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. <laughs> and 
And down he goes at the 32. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets. And I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Nearly intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. And they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He's at midfield. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Makes it out to about the 36. That's a team of 13 on the play. First down. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Throws in a hurry. That's incomplete. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. And he's tackled at the 24. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. Inside the 10, and he's in there. Touchdown. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 49-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's out to the 30. Tackle made the 39-yard line. You know, sometimes you see defenses play good in stretches. This has been the longest stretch I've seen one defense play in a football game in a long time. Yeah, I think the consistency is the thing that stands out. I think they got off to a great start at halftime. They made a few adjustments, and they've come out even played better, believe it or not, here in this second half. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. On the ground, right side. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Yeah, 
tackle around the 38-yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And they make the stop around the 46 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anything. That makes it second and 15. Let's go, tight end. Let's go right here now. Mike four, Mike four. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Caught out of the open. Steps out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. They come out on an empty backfield. He launches one for the end zone. Can't connect. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Throws complete. He stopped immediately. Line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. He's at midfield, and they push him out at the 48. Gain of 13 yards. First down. From the 48-yard line, first down. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Loose football, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. the catch but just not enough for the first yeah they're going to come up a little bit short here nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down he's going to aim this one to the sideline try to kick it out of bounds this one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run to the outside. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He 
taken down around the 39 yard line. We head to the final quarter and we've got a great game on our hands. 10 6. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike four. There's a handoff, left side. Runs it left for a decent game. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. They can't hang on to him. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of four on one play. That'll make it 31. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike, four. Set. Feeds it to the back. Runs outside for a nice game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. He'll get the call again. He's into the open field. Makes it out to about the 33. Play is number eight on the drive. Hand off to the right. Room around the corner. Big play, and it's first and goal. So here we go, first and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. He's tackled at the seven. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And this is the tenth play of the drive. the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. That makes it third and goal. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. Less than three minutes in the game. Touchdown! And now they're winning this ball game. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So an 11-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. So our score, 13-10, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You look up at the clock, Herbie, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Got it. And he goes down quickly. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. That'll bring up second and three. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's hit and taken down. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. Two minutes left in the ball game. Just under two to go in the game. Throws a laser across the middle, and he's taken down at the 46. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Complete. He's got room. Knocked out of bounds around the 49 yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. From the 49 yard line. First down. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant, maybe, to go back for a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offense coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offense a lot. And complete, and he's hit hard. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and They're about four yards away here on third down. Once it all, going deep. It's caught. Touchdown. What a run to take the lead. the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. Under a minute left in the game. Fires out to his receiver, and down he goes at the 34. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. The Tigers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From their own 39-yard line. It's first down. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 39. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. The spike will stop the clock. Gets it out in a hurry. Inside the 30. And he's got the freshman. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone.
line to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is the chance. Late in the fourth quarter, they're behind, but they've got an opportunity now to come back and win it. Just throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And now he's got room to run. The offense calls a timeout. They come out in a five-wide set. Defense coming and the ball comes out. And they fall on the loose ball. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. So not a lot of time left. And they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The defense calls a timeout. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. The defense calls a timeout. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say, that won the ball game. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 2017 Tigers. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.